It's day six. So, in honor of it being almost a week, I'm giving you a free day. That's right. Today there are no rules except for the time limit. So, whatever your creative pursuits are, whether it's writing, graphic design, drawing, painting, collaging, sculpting, whatever it is, give yourself 10 minutes to do it, show us the final product, write a little explanation, film a video like this, talk to us about it. I'll be showing you one of my favorite practices in the rest of this video. One of my favorite activities is doing a digital collage on my phone using an app called Photoshop Mix. The app is clunky and difficult to use, so it makes for accidents I can't plan for. My rules for this are one stock image, one image of an extinct animal species, one, Im one photo image from my personal catalog, and one catalog image of a tool. These works attempt to create an image that suggests a plan for continuing the survival of an already dead species, an alternate history for saving that species from extinction. My personal interests lie in apocalyptic subjects such as the Anthropocene, technology, and the moral implication that humans might be destructive before they are anything else. This is why I use images of tools and extinct species. I find it interesting that in Western culture we tend to view nature as a tool, something to be exploited. I use stock images because of how saccharine they look, something that's been so warped away from its reality that it can only be the product of how we are, not how the original subjects of the photographs are. I also use one image from my personal backlog of images, because if the rest of these come from a catalog-like place, then I morally feel like I should examine myself as a catalog as well. You can find similar themes in the work of John Raffman and Holly Herndon. Both artists investigate the internet as a cultural hub, and its surrounding technology as a personal diary of sorts. Make sure to tag the CAC and use the hashtag claim your creativity challenge and post your work. I'm excited to see what you guys have to say about your own work.